Throughout most of the year, one of the best ways to get bit bass fishing is with a wacky worm. This technique can be productive around docks, reeds, and even deeper weeds. Sometimes when I know I'm around fish but just can't get bit on other presentations, I'll toss a wacky rig out just to get a bite. This is a finesse presentation, so I like to use a lighter spinning rod with a fast rod tip. Line choice is very important for your wacky rig setup. I like to have my finesse rods spooled up with 10 to 15 pound braid with a fluorocarbon leader. High vis line can be very useful when wacky worm fishing, as many times the only indication of a bite is seeing the line twitch a little. I'll tie on a VMC number one wacky hook. A lot of people like to use a wacky ring that is wrapped around the worm, but I generally just run the hook through the middle of the worm. The key is to make sure that the worm sits right in the water and sinks slowly. In heavy wind, you can switch out to a weighted wacky hook, which will provide a little more castability and feel. In heavy cover or thicker weeds, you can find a weedless wacky hook to help prevent grass from catching on the hook as often. For baits, there are any number of options. I like a Strike King KVD Perfect Plastics Ocho 5-inch stickworm. Many wacky riggers swear by a 5-inch Yamamoto Senko worm. I tend to use homemade worms made with recycled plastics. When fishing a wacky rig, I like to make a good cast. When fishing around structure like docks, lily pads, or reeds, making a good precision cast can be really important. Many times bass will not move much to hit a wacky rig, but if dropped near them, it will get their attention. Let the bait fall as naturally as possible with your rod tip pointed down. Watch your line for subtle bites. I'll lift my rod tip and give it a couple of shakes to add some movement to the worm as I lift it up, and then let it sink back down again. Bites will occur while the worm is sinking, so it is critical to leave some slack in your line to allow the line to sink as naturally as possible. I will have a wacky rig set up almost all year from pre-spawn through summer. When fish move deeper, I may not use a wacky rig as often, but there's almost always some fish near docks or weeds willing to take a wacky worm. But I find bigger fish in midsummer will come on drop shots or big bass jigs. One of the most popular techniques for wacky fishing is to skip under docks. Especially when weeds start to thicken up, it's harder to fish this finesse style. But shooting a wacky 10 feet under the dock may get the, that bass to come out. Skipping takes a lot of practice and precision. Many people can confirm this is not a skill I have perfected yet. Wacky rigging is a good skill for young anglers to learn. When learning this, I recommend picking a nice calm day early in the summer when fish are active and you can see your line easily. It takes a lot of practice, but if you put the time in, this will become a key tool in your bass fishing toolbox. Thank you for watching this video. Please make sure to check out our other how-to fishing videos on our channel. And as always, click on the subscribe button below to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.